Hello, everybody. So tonight I am going to finally be streaming some uh, MTG Arena. Uh, what my plan is here, I'm going to be doing some streams over the next couple days, seeing as I finally have some time off to do it. Uh, I'm going to be uh, starting from a fresh account here on Arena. And I'm not putting any money in, so I just have the basics starting 500 gold. Uh, the wild cards that you get when you start, so I have eight common, four uncommon, two rare, one mythic, and nothing but the starter decks. And my goal here is I want to see how long it's going to take to grind to a tier deck uh, in the standard format. So I'd like to get some input from uh, everybody watching uh, what deck I should try to go for. Uh, currently in paper, I am playing Boros Angels, uh, but I know the green-black deck seems very powerful right now with the Assassin's Trophies and just, just a pile of removal. Um, so if anybody has any thoughts, uh, it'd be great to hear from you guys to see what deck I should go towards. Um, so I'm going to be streaming this over the next couple of days. And then anything that I don't stream is going to end up on my YouTube channel, which is uh, you can find at Five Color Feehan on YouTube. Uh, any subscriptions and stuff like that go to help support the channel. Uh, going to get back to streaming here. Uh, so what I'm thinking we're going to start out with is I don't know, let's take a look at these decks. So we got the Graveyard Bash, which just seems like it's mono black zombies, I guess. So it looks like it's got some removal. Yeah, it just looks kind of like a mono black aggro with like a zombie sub theme, I guess. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's got Yargle, best 9-3 in the game. I mean, it seems like a fine deck. Uh, so there's that. I have Forest Smite, which is just, you know, your mono green stompy. So I mean, you got your ramp and the Gigantosaurs, Galtas. Uh, yeah, I mean, straightforward mono green stompy, some Blanchwood armors, Elvish Rejuvenator for ramp. So I think that might be a good place to start. Uh, let's see what this Dragon's Fire is all about. So it's like a mono red burn style or aggro deck. Yep, just your basic mono red starter deck. Charging Monster Sword is not, not a bad card. Uh, looks like all of them have Meteor Golem in them. So there's that. Arcane Invention also has a Meteor Golem. This is like Mono Blue Control, Tempest Gin. Okay, so I mean, it just seems like your basic Mono Blue Artifact deck. Um, And the last one is the Mono White. So... Yeah, I think... All right, so I think what I'm going to start out with is just the mono green deck. So right now, like I said, it's a completely fresh account. I've put no money into it. I haven't even I played through the tutorial, and that was it. Uh, yeah, so we're going to find out how long it takes to grind for a tier deck. Uh, you know, we'll start building the deck over time. So currently, like I said, we have two rare, one mythic, which are going to come in very handy. So I think, yeah, I think we're just going to start out with this mono green deck. I'm not a huge fan of uh, mono green. Green's probably my, I mean, probably my least favorite color in Magic. I play it in Modern, but it's more of, you know, support color. I play it mostly for Karmagoyfs and things like that when I do play it. So, yeah, we'll, we'll give that one a go. Try to ramp into some big stuff. So we will play the first game. Yes, this thing can go away. And see how long it takes us to uh, grind some stuff. Stream for a couple hours tonight, probably, and try to grind some gold and uh, hopefully unlock the 
other starter decks and stuff just to you know, just to give it a try. And I, I have another account on Arena that I use personally. Uh, and this hand seems okay. It's definitely not great. I wish I had some ramp. But I mean, we'll keep this. And we've got an early play. Uh, hopefully we'll draw into some other early plays. It'd be nice to like just top deck a Land of War. Or like an Elvish Rejuvenate or something to do on turn one, turn three. Okay, so opponent's going to six. Looks like they're also on the mono green deck. So play a land and pass. I'm gonna try to not use the auto tapper unless I have to. Alright, so Land of War's a turn late, but we'll still run it out. Try to ramp towards this, make an 8-8 Land of War Elf. So what's our opponent got? They have a Rejuvenator on three. It's not a bad play. Okay, so this one dies. We'll go ahead and play the Greenwood Sentinel. And then we'll pass turn. So, I don't even know what we really want here. Okay, so they got this giant boar. I guess Titanic Growth isn't bad. That'll allow us to profitably block this 4 3. And we'll just pass turn, try to entice the attack here. They might end up going Galta if they have it. Watch it kind of be bad for us. So let's see what they have. Like I said, we kept kind of a slow hand, but I mean, this is a mono green starter deck, so it's going to be a bit slow. Okay, so they just have the centaur. So if they attack with this, we can block with any creature and then titanic growth it. And that seems fine. So we'll go to blocks, we'll block with this, and then we'll Titanic Growth it, and just clear that off the board. Oh, I draw another forest. So I think we're going to go ahead and pump this, and then just go ahead and attack. So now they have no profitable blocks, I mean they can block and just chump it. But the fact that this has Vigilance is actually really good. So in the next turn we get to Meteor Golem to clean up anything they play. It's not a bad sequence of turns. Actually kind of happy with that one. So they have a Blanchard Armor, so we'll go ahead and Meteor Golem that. So Meteor Golem, and we'll go ahead and just nuke this guy. And then we'll get an attack with our 9-9. Nine, nine. <clears throat> I mean, that seems like a good, good series of plays here. So now we're presenting multiple lethal threats. So yeah, I think Poland's probably going to have to scoop it up here. Yep, and that's the game. Alright, so first game on the Fresh account. And we take the W. Uh, so we should get 250 gold there. Okay, okay, thank you. So we actually got 500 gold for that. Closer to our first pack. So what do we have here for our goals? 20 green or white, 40 creatures, and 20 creatures. And play five lands to get 250 gold. Okay, so... I think we'll just stick with this mono green deck here. Uh, like I said, for all of you guys just joining us, what I'm doing on this is just, I'm doing a completely free to play arena. Uh, and I'm trying to start from a fresh account, which is what I have here. That was the first game I've played on this account. And I'm trying to grind to get to a tier standard deck. So if anybody has any inputs on the on the deck I should shoot for, whether it's Boros Angels, um, Green Black, and we'll go from there. All right, so this hand, 
I mean, we can make a big Highland game, but that doesn't sound... I mean, we'll keep. Land and pass. So let's see what our opponent, which starter deck our opponent's on. Looks like they're on the white one. Okay, Druid of the Cowl's not bad. So we'll play our ramp. Gets us closer to our Gigantosaur. So next turn we'll just run out this Highland game. If we top deck a land, then we can Gigantosaur Blanchwood it. Seems like a, a good line. Okay, so they're around white-black. So we'll run out Highland game. And no attackers. Looks like next turn we get to run out this 10-10. That seems pretty okay. I mean, opponents on a probably a much better deck than us. Yeah, it looks like they're on like the white-black life gain starter. Which might be an issue for us. But we'll see. I mean, we'll, we'll take our beats here. So no blockers. We're on a 17. And yeah, we'll run out our 10 10, see if they have a removal spell. And we'll go ahead and attack with Highland Game. See if they want to offer the trade. Okay, they take the damage. So I don't know what we want here. I mean, we have these Blanchwood armors that can. So if they have a removal spell for the Gigantosaurus, then I guess we pump something else with the Blanchwood? I mean. Okay, so they do have the murder. They take down that. <clears throat> so then I guess we're going to... I mean, depending on what we draw... Click the scorpion. Uh, depending on what we draw, play the forest. And yeah, then we'll blanch with this. Try to outsize this pride mate. Elvish Rejuvenator, try to find a land. So it makes our Highland game a little bit bigger. So no attacks. So now we have a decent sized blocker for this Pride Man, unless they have another murder. And then we gain two. Okay, so they have this thing. Oh my gosh. Yep, opponent's just comboing off. So we can still trade with this pride mate if they attack, which we will gladly do. So we are going to just throw another one on there just to make it very large. I mean, the downside now is if they hit a removal spell, they just, we get blown out, but we just want to try to hold them off from attacking until we can find like a meteor golem or a rabid bite to take care of that. Yep, opponents just comboing off of this pride mate. Never, you know, they always have it. They always have the pride mate. Man, we get a Lana War Elf. That's. Not good. So no attackers. I don't know if we're going to be able to overcome this life gain. Like, I'd like to, you know, draw like a rabid bite. Would be cool. But we can just take care of that. That way we can start attacking. I'm pretty sure we're just dead, though. Because <laughs> we, we have to have a removal spell within the next, like, turn or so. So we'll get rid of these life linkers. I mean, they're gonna grow the pride mate, but they grow it anyway. Might as well get rid of them. Yep, grows the pride mate. Meteor golem, that's really good. But we are still just literally dead. So we'll just go on an all-out attack. It doesn't matter. We are literally dead. 
I mean, we drew a removal spell a turn late. So... So yeah, we'll give the opponent the old good game and we'll just scoop it up. Yeah, that's the downside of playing a, a monocolor deck. Very linear. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, monocolor decks personally, but... Alright, so... Okay, so to do this, we're still going through the tutorial, so we'll buy a pack. Yeah, sure, we'll get a pack of guilds. First pack cracked on this account. Let's see what we get. Ooh, Tajik's not bad. That's actually not a bad pull. So, do we stick with mono green? Uh, you know what? We'll go with this red deck or actually we'll, we'll go with the black deck. let's see what we have for black here see if we can make this a little bit better so we don't have much obviously you know being a fresh account here so yeah, pretty much every black card we have is in this deck already So we'll give this black deck a try. And so we can unlock uh So we gotta deal 10 damage. So we'll we'll actually go with the red deck. Red deck seems fine. Seems like it's pretty easy to deal 10 damage with. And see if we can't get another win to get closer to our next pack. All right, so what are we up against? Opening hand looks very red. Early game play. Need to draw some, we'll, we'll mulligan that. Ugh. Man, that's not a good mulligan at all. I mean, I'm gonna keep Scry for a land. See how that goes. So opponents taking a second to decide if they're mulliganing. Okay, opponent in the tank. Uh, yeah, we'll give this one a try. Back to the bottom land and we will pass leave up our shock so opponent also looks like they're on monitor that's a good draw so now we'll shock our opponent with the pyromancer so now we literally just need to draw runner 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 land <laughs> I mean we have a removal spell for their first play So, opponent has their second land. And a goblin instigator. So we'll go ahead and shock there. And no attackers. So we're missing our land drops. We'd like to definitely draw a third land. Like, we want to get up to five. So we'll take our beats. Put on a 19. Opponent has a Pyromancer. So we're going to attack. Okay, so if they block... We sure strike to keep our Pyromancer alive. If they don't, we hit him for five. 
Okay, missing our land drops though is not good. So we'll sure strike. Okay, opponents hitting their land drops. And we, we did have a risky keep here. Okay, there's a land. So we'll play our hasty creature. And then we will all out attack. I mean, we gotta try to pressure here, so. <coughs> I mean, we definitely wanna just draw, you know, keep drawing lands. Okay, that's exactly what we want to keep doing. And we've just got to keep the pressure on. So they're probably going to trade with... Oh, they're going to trade with our 2-1. They got a removal spell for this one. Yep. That's fine. I mean, it clears their board. Okay, that's a, that's a good one. So if we hit another land here, oh, that's not what we want to see. So we will pass turn. So now we're kind of in trouble. Our opponent hits up to their seventh land. So we would definitely like to top deck a land here. Ooh, that's not good. Burning Sun's avatar. We'd like to play ours. That'd be great. So I'm assuming they're just going to take the five. Yeah. I don't think we can win. I mean, this was a risky keep. Yeah. So we'll, we'll give them the good game. I don't know why they didn't just fiery finish. Oh, it's target creature. Okay. So we lost that one. But we dealt our 10 damage, got some more gold. And now we have, we are done with the tutorial and all of that stuff. So we still have the cast 40 creatures, cast 20 creatures, and cast 20 white or green spells. So let's see what this white deck is all about here. So we'll give this white deck a try for the next one. So yeah, we'll give the white deck a try. Try to finish off some of our quests here. So I'm thinking for the deck that I want to grind for, I think it might be the green-black deck. I will keep this. We have a two drop. If we hit lands, we have three drops, so... I mean, this seems like a perfectly reasonable hand. I mean, the curve in our hand's a bit high. We definitely need to hit our lands, but... Alright, so it looks like they're on... Red black could be uh, Grixis Control or Grixis Dragons. Interesting. All right, so there's our land. That's what we want to do. We want to keep hitting our land drops. So if they attack, we will not trade here. Because Pegasus Cur Cursor is actually really good. Because we, if we attack with that, something else we give it up. We get that flying, so we can get in hits for four at a time. So opponent's gonna go attacking. Yep, we will. Uh, we'll take our beats here. Go down to nineteen. Okay. Next, so we got a luminous bonds. I don't know if we want to play that yet. 
We'll play our Pegasus Courser. And no attacks. This way we can start blocking this, and then we have we have a removal spell here, which is kind of nice. So we can uh, bombs this harpy if we need to. The opponent also looks like they're on like looks like the red black starter deck. So they could sacrifice a creature. We'll keep it. We'll take our hit. That's fine. We'll go to 18. And see what our opponent does. Another Harpy. Okay. And a tap land. So we will play the Stag. The Stag's actually pretty nice. And we will go attacking. We'll give this flying. So if they want to block, they trade the Harpy away. And if we keep it in our land drops, we have our two angels in hand. Okay, so they're going to trade the Harpy away. That's fine. Because now we can just keep attacking with these two and keep tapping down uh, this and giving our Stag flying. Which will allow us to get our damage in. Opponent's got another tap land. No blockers in case they have a shock. Don't want to give them the stag for free. What's this guy do? Okay. So in this case, what we're going to do, we're going to Luminous Bonds that. And then go attacking. We'll tap down the Harpy. Get in our damage. So we definitely want to hit another land. So we can play one of our two angels that we have in hand. <clears throat> so I assume they could they might just sacrifice this to put a counter on the harpy. Or they just play a second one, that's fine. <laughs> Okay. So we'd definitely like to hit a land so we can play this Sarah Angel. Would be ideal. Or hit another removal spell. Like another Luminous Bombs. Something like that. Opponent goes on the attack. Land is quite nice there. Hmm. See, I think we play Herald of Faith. This allows us to get some life game gain in later in the game to try to drag it out, or we can just block there, but... So, all attack. We'll tap down that for no reason. Opponent's probably going to attack with this, and I would assume sacrifice that to hit us for five, six, seven. 
And if they attack, we'll block the Harpy with the Angel. And then next turn we get hit for 3, 7, 8, and play a Sarah Angel. Or we could play our two Ground Pounders to block. I mean, that's worth thinking about. I mean, it was definitely unfortunate that they literally had... I'm pretty sure this starter deck only has two of this. And they had exactly the second one. So they're going to choose if, I think if they sacrifice something, then we definitely just go ahead and block the Harpy here. Okay, so they do sacrifice, so we're going to take a hit for seven. Yeah, we'll block the Harpy. I mean, they can sacrifice something if they want to, so we go to seven. Got a shock, so I take down the angel. So we'll just go ahead and run out these guys for blocking purposes and no attacks. So now, if they attack with this, we can throw our two, our three, two, and our three, one in front of it, unless they have another removal spell. So we'll just try to find a way to trade with this thing and block a couple of the little guys then run out the Sarah Angel next turn. All right, so let's see what our opponent does. I'm surprised they sacrificed one of the goblins for this guy, I would have probably just sacrificed the other Brawl Bash Ogre. That's interesting. Okay, so opponents in the tank. So yeah, if they attack all out, we throw the Swift Claw and Line Breaker in front of Brawl Bash. And then we block a Goblin, block a Goblin? Okay, this seems like a very anemic attack here. So, I think, so th it seems to me like they're representing a shock. So as to not get blown out, I'm gonna go ahead and throw literally everything in front of Brawl Bash so we don't get blown out. And then we take a hit for one. So this way we're not blown out by a single removal spell, which is what they're bluffing in hand. So I'm assuming here we're gonna lose probably Stag. Yeah, Stag and Line Breaker, that's what I thought. So you lose those two, but we trade off with the Brawl Bash. So we'll go ahead and run out Leonin War Leader. And no attacks. So this allows us to generate some more advantage. Like, if we can attack with this, that's pretty good. So next turn, if this lives, which it should, we run out Angel and then swing in with this. So we'll just go attacking there and see what our opponent does. So 
So, I mean, they kind of had us on the ropes, but I think we might have stayed. I mean, we're still, I don't know if this deck's packing lightning strikes, but we're in double strike range if they have it. But our board presence is pretty good right now. So it looks like, okay, so our opponent's looking like they're going to be trading one for one with our tokens. Yeah, okay. And then now with this, if they attack him with the goblin, which I don't think they will, even if they have removal spell, I think we just throw the courser in front of it. And, okay, other goblins I control. Okay, that that's fine. So we'll throw the swift claw in front of it. I mean, if they go attacking with this. Ooh, Zapalta. Man, we're one mana short. Uh, so yeah, we'll just go attacking with the Angel. So they need an answer, because we have multiple lethal attackers. Because this represents six damage. Okay, so... We block here, we block here. Uh, go to combat and just attack with the angel. I yeah, give our opponents a good game. I mean, they had us on the ropes there for a minute. I was uh, getting a little scurred. Let's get a little scurred. All right, so, I mean, we're, we're off to a good start. It's another 600 gold. So we're working towards this first of, I think you can get three packs a week. So we're up to 1,600 gold. So I don't think we have enough to do. Yeah, so drafts are only on the weekends, unfortunately. That's right, constructed events are best of one, right? Right. So we're gonna hold off on those for a while. And we'll just go ahead and uh, play another one. So the only, we haven't played this one yet. So we'll play the Arcane Inventions deck and try to grind for those packs. So yeah, I'm thinking we're going to grind for the green-black deck, I think is my goal. Okay, this is a reasonable hand. We'll go ahead and keep this. So we'll go ahead and run out our one drop. See what our opponent's doing. Oh, it also looks like they're on the blue deck. So we'll go ahead and get in for two. Working our way towards our air elemental. All right, so opponent also has a field creeper. Go ahead and run out another field creeper. See if our opponent wants to trade. They might trade here. Yeah, they're going to trade there. That's fine. We still get in our damage. And the opponent scoops it up. Okay. I think that might have been an early scoop. Maybe they're just missing lands. All right, then. Seems okay. So we get another 100 gold. And we're two wins away from our next pack. So let's just go look at our collection here. See if we can throw anything together. I don't think so. I think it's kind of rough throwing something. Like, yeah, because literally all we have, like, 
obviously a place that have all the guild gates and stuff and all these tap lands. Yeah, it makes it very hard to actually build something worthwhile. So we'll just keep grinding towards this pack here. Uh, we didn't get to see that one very much, so we'll play this, the blue deck again. Oh, my phone fell off my desk. It's got my, uh, my Twitch dashboard on it. Tells me how long I've been streaming for. Also apparently came unplugged. So let's go ahead and uh, get that plugged back in. All right, so this seems very slow. Yeah, we'll mulligan that. Okay, so we got a diamond mare. And we'll give this a try. We got a diamond mare on two to gain some life, hopefully. Scry for a land. Oh, yes, yeah, so we will keep the island on top. Play our island and pass. So, opponent also on the blue deck. Play a land and a diamond mare on blue. So then next turn, I think we run out our Aviation Pioneer, make a Thapter. All right, so play our land. So actually, yeah, we'll run out Aviation Pioneer, make a Thopter, gain a life. Just kind of try to stonewall our opponent here. Uh, no attacks. So we'd like to get up to four mana so we can start drawing some cards. <clears throat> so I think our best draw this turn would literally just be a land. Okay, so opponent had like the same start we had in the last game. That's not a land. That's the opposite of a land. We'll play an Avon Wind Mage, gain a life. Uh, we'll get in with a Thopter. So we're missing our land drops, which is not great. Uh, we would still just like to... Yeah, see, opponent got to that. That's boo. We want to get to that. We want to play our Scholar of Stars. Land? Not a land. Uh, go attacking with our Flyers. Really like to hit a land next turn. I think if we don't hit a land, we're just going to fall way too far behind. Like, literally the only reason that we have not fallen behind is because we've been able to commit to the board every turn. So... But if we keep missing... Ooh, Water Knot. That's not good. So yeah, now... We're starting to fall behind. Because if they have someone else, they can double spell this turn which is uh, no bueno. So we'll trade there. Trade there. Trade there and take three. Not a land, not a land. It's not good. We need to hit our lands. <clears throat> like, if we hit our lands, we have a lot of good stuff. So now we're in trouble. No blockers. 
Oh my goodness, Dak. So no attacks, because we gotta get this off. So we're gonna be losing our diamond mare. But awesome. So yeah, we are super far behind. Yeah, that's how quickly this game changed. Just because we we have literally not hit lands. Yeah, we're we're about to scoop. If we don't hit a land, we're scooping. Like this was this has just been an abysmal draw. So we'll block the we'll block the five five. Take our hit for three. Yeah, I think even with the land, I think we're just too far behind at this point. Yeah, we're we're we are way far behind. So we're gonna have to give up this diamond mare, that's for sure. Sadly. <clears throat> we needed that land about six turns ago. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think there's any way we can turn this around. But I mean, we, we'll keep trying. So block there. Block there. Play our own guardian, but I think we're just... No, we can't, that's right. But I think we're just literally dead. Yeah. We're, we're just literally dead there. Okay. That was rough. Very rough. So we have not played the, you know, I'm gonna play that blue deck again. I'm gonna play the blue deck again. Because the two games we played with it, one, our opponent played a land and then scooped, and that one we just missed our land drop. So we'll give that one a try again. See if we can uh, have a slightly better draw. That'd be uh, ideal. Okay, we've got lands. We've got a sigh. I mean, we'll keep. It's kind of slow. But. I mean, if we can get down a sigh and start just generating thopters, that seems very powerful. I mean, sigh is very good. I, pl I played a. Uh, Yesterday at my weekly modern tournament, I played, uh, uh, I brought a buddy's KCI deck, and Psy out of the sideboard actually won me a match. Like, it, it was rough going for a while, that's for sure. So, we will go to our turn. We'll run out Psy. So we're immediately going to get some value out of Psy. I mean, unless they have a removal spell, we'll immediately get some value out of him on our next turn. Being able to play this and get a Thopter and be able to disperse something. All right, so yeah, we will... Go ahead and get some value out of Psy. And go to Com... We'll just... We'll just pass. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll attack with Psy. I don't know why I, I misclicked. Okay, opponent's just gonna take it. So we also have... Like, this Disperse also acts as protection for Psy, which is kind of nice. So opponent's gonna go attacking. So I think what we want here is a land. Yeah, we'll, we'll take our hit. Go to our turn. Okay, there's a land, that's nice. So, Psy will generate another Thopter. We get a 5-5. Five, five. We'll go attacking in the air. 
So now we can start sacrificing artifacts to draw cards, which is nice. So you can see the power of Psy here. Like, if you can stick a Psy and, you know, play some, uh... Oh, opponent's going on the attack. So we'll block there. Take one. Oh boy, yeah, Psy just generating a lot of value here. So get another Thopter. <clears throat> Attack with our two Thopters. Psy is a very powerful magic card. It's very good. Okay, so the Luminous Bonds are 5-5, five, five, which is fine. So I assume they're going to attack and tap down the Guard Sentinel. And then we'll double block the Stag. Yeah, they tap that down. So we will block with Psy. We'll go ahead and actually, you know, so we'll double block. I mean, do they have a pump spell? They might have a pump spell. But maybe blocking with Psy was a mistake. No, oh, okay, it's fine. Not punished. Not punished. So we'll go ahead and attack with our Thopters. And then we will pass turn, leave up a Disperse if we need to protect Psy. And if we don't, we'll go ahead and sacrifice a Thopter and this Gearsmith Guardian <clears throat> to draw a card. <coughs> I think that seems like a fine plan. You click the bird and the Gargoyles. Like opponents passing. So yes, we will sacrifice Gearsmith and a Thopter to dry a card. We'll play a land. Uh, go to combat. Attack with our three Thopters. Now we'll pass turn, leave up this Disperse. Like I said, if necessary, protect Psy. Um, then we also leave a mana to draw a card with this. With our uh, Arcane Encyclopedia. And this is shaping up pretty nice. Our opponent has been missing some land drops, so... So if they have a removal spell for Psy, or something like this, so they float a mana and then just go to combat, oh, interesting. Interesting play choice, opponent, interesting play choice. So they go attacking, they don't go attacking, they end combat. So yeah, we'll go ahead and draw a card. So we'll go ahead and play a Field Creeper. And Aviation Pioneer. Go to combat. Attack with our four Thopters. And then pass turn. Again, leaving up Disperse's protection. Uh, if they attack, we can Phantom Block. And then Sack to Psy. 
Hey, I think we're gonna sack something to Psy anyway. So, yeah, okay, so they go ahead and attack. So we will go to block. We'll block there. One blocker. Sure, that'll resolve. So it should give us priority before the damage step. So before damage, we'll sacrifice a Thopter and a Thopter draw card. Make them waste their pump spell. And we get to draw a card. Drink some tea. Okay, you got there, opponent. So we'll play a Guard Sentinel. Uh, and then we will go to combat. And I think we can just win here, can't we? One, two, three, four, five. So three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, we just win here. So we'll bounce this back to their hand, and then go on the all-out attack. Give our opponent a good game. And that's another win. All right. We're still a beginner rank, but we're working towards that bronze. So we got another 100 gold. Our next reward is a card. Ooh, I wonder what it could be. So one more win and we get a pack. And we need to cast a couple more creatures. So that deck was pretty good. I'm a big fan of Psy. I think Psy is very powerful. Like, I want to brew around him uh, in Standard. And see if, you know, because I, I know, like, uh, last standard format for... Uh, Amonkhet and Kaladesh rotated. He was seeing play in that uh, mono blue, like the mono blue storm deck, the paradoxical outcome deck, and it was it was very strong. It looked very very strong. Okay, I mean this is a fine hand. We'd like to hit some lands. So if we hit a land, so swamp, diagraph ghoul, get our. Uh, I mean it's fitting. It's October. Get our zombie on. So opponents on a tap land. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Hit our lands. Go attacking. Give them that early damage. So we got two removal spells now. So what's our opponent got on to? Martyr of Dusk. Well, we will just keep running out uh, Zermbiz. Go attacking. See, so yeah, I think we just need to be the aggro here. I mean, I'm fine with trading a zombie for... That's fine. I got another walking corpse. You can have your 1-1 one, one lifelink. So this is like red-white... Is this the red-white pre-con? Okay, it's looking like the red-white pre-con. So I actually think I'm just going to murder this right now. That way they can't trade. They, they can block, but they can't trade. They can trade with one creature or chump both. So yeah, it looks, looks like they're going to trade. That's fine. So I'll wrath their board. You know, stay, you know, we're at parity for life on that attack. Okay, and we have a murder for that, which is very good. So, murder, and then get in our attack, and then we have Gravedigger next turn to bring back a walking corpse or something. Okay, Luminous Bonds, 
takes care of our diagraph ghoul. Soul Grave Digger. Get back a walking corpse. So we have Strangling Spores, which could take care of a creature. Can't take care of that. Yeah, opponent got to their top end real quick. All right. So I don't know how we win now. I mean, I guess we take our hit. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna scoop that one up. Yup. Yeah, the two color decks, like compared to the, the mono color decks, are just, the, the power comparison is astronomical. Or the power difference is astronomical. Like, look at that, that, that play from our opponent there. That was nuts. So yeah, we'll, we'll give the Graveyard Bash one more go. Play a couple games with each of the pre-cons. I think that was just mostly a very slow hand. Like, it was, it was almost a do-nothing hand. Uh, this hand we cannot keep. It's got cards I like, but cannot keep it. Okay, we can keep this one. Uh, that's got to go to the bottom. We need to land. Definitely need to hit a land here. Swamp and we'll pass. Uh, Doom to center. So if this is the mono blue precon, they don't have much removal. They have bounce, but not hard removal. So we'll see if they want to trade here. So no damage there. That's fine. We'll play our Death Baron. So hopefully we'll hit a land here and we can play this Infectious Horror. So Plonus got some card draw. Okay, so we hit our land. <clears throat> I mean, if opponent doesn't want to block, we'll just keep nugging them for one. Keep getting in. Well, that's fine, I guess, if they want to take their turn to do that. So I want them to block with both their creatures on the Death Baron. Then we can get him with the Skull Duggery. So no, no blocks. Okay. So I would really like to hit another land so we can play this Open the Graves. Because Open the Graves is very good. Ooh, boo. Hiss, boo. Hiss. I don't like that. That's no good. That's is no good for me. I'll get him with a Yarnal. Mmm, get him. Oh, 
Oh, just another Doom Descender. All right. Boo, hiss, boo. I don't know if... Uh, we need to hit murder. I think there's two murders on the deck. So if we can top deck a murder, might be enough to get us back in. But short of, the, of hard removal... Oh, opponent's getting in. Yep. Oh, man, yeah. They just got all of their top end, and we have none of ours. Yeah, I don't know if we can win from this spot. I think we are in bad shape. Opponent had two top end threats. We have one that's not good. Like, one of our flyers would be cool. I know there's a couple flyers in the deck. Oh, wow. Yeah, they had just literally all of their top end threats. Good running opponent, good running. Yeah, wow. I think the blue deck is probably the best of the pre-cons. Like, probably the blue deck and the green deck. So, we'll, we'll play the blue deck again. I just want to get up to this pack really fast. So, we can get up to this pack, and I might use the gold that we have to buy a couple more packs. Okay, we'll keep this. Play our one drop. So we have a one drop. We have two drop if we need to protect it or bounce something. We have three drop that pumps our two our one drop. So nug our opponent for one. And we'll pass turn. So it's nice that we have a removal spell. Definitely would have liked to have a... Oh, okay. Oh, so opponents on Merfolk. Boo, Merfolk, boo. So we'll just pass. Alright, so yeah, opponents on the Merfolken. <clears throat> and if they want to attack with yeah, we'll we'll trade with Silvergill. That's that's a trade we'll make. Because our only removal is bounce, and that is not something that you want to bounce back. So we'll go attacking. So playing the Aviation Pioneer allows us to draw with the Scholar of Stars next turn. Because we have the Fopter. Okay, so opponent hit their green mana. Which is not good for us. It means they have Cumana Speaker plus whatever else they want to play. Ooh, the Lord. Boo. That's definitely not good. Okay, 
Yeah, we'll go attacking with our flyers. I don't know if we can beat Merfolk with this deck. But, I mean, we gotta keep, keep attacking if we're ever gonna have a chance of winning. Oh, man. That's rough. So I definitely think we are going to disperse the river sneak. Play the Avon Wind Mage. And I mean, see if they want, I doubt they're gonna make the trade with the Scholar of Stars. That would honestly be a bad block. Oh, well, okay. Or they're gonna make the trade, that's fine. I'll eat a Lord with my creature that already gave me value. So now we have a top end threat, which is kind of nice. We'll see what our opponent does. I mean, they can play River Sneak and Kumana Speaker. So there's the River Sneak. Or they might just hold the Kumana Speaker till next turn. All right, Deep Root Champion. So we'll just keep flying over them. I mean, we got lethal next turn. I didn't think we were going to be able to win this. Seems like it might be like a budget build of Merfolk. And the fact that they're not hitting green mana is kind of bad for them. Okay, so opponent has sleep in their main deck. Okay. That's not good. So we're going to take a big hit here. Take a hit for four. So two, four, five. I mean, let's see if they can kill us. That sleep was very unfortunate. So at minimum, we're taking a hit for five. If they have more merfolk, it could be more. If they have non-creature spell. I mean, they could theoretically string together lethal here. Because right now we're at five. They just need four more points of damage. So if they have five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I don't think they can. I don't think they can get lethal here. And if they have another sleep, then I guess they probably could. So water not. So that pumps it up. So we take two, three, six. So they still need three more points of damage, which I don't think they can get unless they have a Lord. Yeah, if they have a Lord, then we're dead. So Lord is lethal. That's lethal too. Yep. Okay. Good game, opponent. Good game. Budget Merfolk. Hey, we ranked up to bronze tier two. Woo! So let's go ahead and we're going to buy a couple packs here. So we're going to get one Dominaria and one Guilds. We'll open the guilds first. I've actually had really good luck with Dominator packs on my account. Eh, Watery Grave's not bad. Alright, let's see what we get out of this Dominaria pack here. Ooh, Joda. Boo. Not a good card. Not a good card. But we did get a land that we can throw in here. Throw in that memorial. Potential to run the game out longer. Yeah, we don't have enough. I mean, we could probably string together like a red-white deck. I don't know how good it would be. I mean, we probably could. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and string together a red white tag. So we'll save this one. So red white. We'll do like a red white aggro. <clears throat> so I think we want integrity intervention tagic. Uh, we're definitely going to run four guild gates. So we're going to run eight tap lands. 16, 20, 24. 24 seems like a reasonable number of lands. All right, so what are we going to try to do with this deck? So from white... I think our top end, uh, we definitely want shocks. Um, I don't know if we want help. So, dragon, demanding dragon. Uh, we'll run two Sarah Angel. Um, so we need some early game stuff. What do we have in red for early game? Um... So Spit Flame's an okay removal spell. Um, so we got 41 cards. Definitely need some more early game stuff, which will probably all come to Luminous Bonds is an okay removal. Um doo -doo -doo -doo. So Pegasus Courser. Goblin Instigator. So what's our curve look like? One. So we're heavy on twos and fives. Or heavy on threes and fives. So that's a good removal spell. Downside is it's sorcery speed. I don't really like that as sorcery. But I think it's something we just have to live with. Do we want a Zatalpa or a Burning Sun's avatar in the top end slots? Hmm. I think we'll run that. My burning sun and the Zatalpa. Let's get two more spots open. So let's see what our curve looks like. I mean, we've got a very high curve. I think we cut that. And I maybe go up. Go up the fourth luminous bonds. Yeah, we'll try it like that. So red white stuff is what we're gonna call that one. Red White Stuff. All right, let's try a game with Red White Stuff. So I don't know how this is gonna go. 
but we'll we'll give it the old college try. Right into a mulligan. Sure, we'll keep this. Scry the planes to the bottom, because we need red mana. Alright, are we against the mono red starter deck? I hope so. Oh yeah, we definitely need red mana. Alright. Not starting out great. Not starting out great with red white stuff. I just want to get that pack. Ooh, click the bird. Gotta click the bird. Got him. Oh, opponent. Ow, you hurt my feelings with that shock. None of this bird nonsense. Oh my gosh. Come on, deck. Come on. Red man off the top, please. Like, runner, runner, mountains would be great. Actually, just like three mountains in a row would probably be ideal. Spit flame. What are you doing, opponent? Stop that. Hey, it's the red manas. All right. We're going places. Finally got both colors. Ah, oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. So we'll make this thing. Not good, not good, not good. Waited on red mana too long. Oh, that's not good. Oh yeah, yeah, we're just scooping it up. That was horrible. So we're gonna try that one more time. Try it one more time with the red white stuff. That was horrible. That was very bad running. Alright, Karn versus Jace here. Let's see. Do we have both colors of mana? We do. Right, yeah, we'll keep this. No top end stuff, but hopefully we'll draw it. Got some removal spells, got some two drops. So we're definitely going to want some more red mana. Let's see what our opponent's up to. Okay, so our opponent's playing a real deck. Their watery graves. Oh yeah, opponent's definitely playing a real magic deck. Yup. Well, we will shock that. I mean, on the upside, we have a lot of removal. Okay, so we will remove that. Okay, now we just want to draw some lands. Wow, three of them, huh? Well, we got three remove spells. So now we would definitely like to hit lands. <clears throat> sure. You can see we're not playing a real deck. That's fine. My opponent is playing, looks like, blue-black surveil. I guess, I don't even know what they take here. I mean, our cards aren't good. <laughs> so, we'll see. We'll see what they do. What do, you, what do you take here, opponent? Okay, takes that. Okay. Yup. Your spy bugs get bigger. 
They can attack, though. You're probably gonna have Blink of an Eye to make one of them able to attack, though, and that would be a sad boy. Hey, it's a land! So, yep, we'll, we'll get some, uh, some pressure down. It's probably not gonna do much. Hmm. Yes. That's a, that's a card. Yep, Thought Erasure. So opponents just got a million, so this is literally just a blue-black, like, discard surveil deck. Uh-huh. So we'll just do an all-out attack here. Sure. We'll get rid of that guy. I'd like to hit our lands, please, deck. Slow land, but it's a land. Keep the pressure on. They got a counterspell? They probably got a counterspell. Sinister Sabotage. Ooh, Essence Scatter. Okay, well, we'll just keep attacking. Somehow our not real cards deck is actually doing okay. Surprisingly. Exclusion Mage, boo! Opponent. Stop that. Yep, and now we just hit the draw all lands part of the game. We didn't draw them early in the game, so we start flooding out later in the game. Well, we will Luminous Bonds that unless they have a counter. Which they do. Alright. Yep, those, uh, those surveil bugs are, uh, pretty big. What is this thing? Point this card's a card and I draw a card. Oh my goodness, come on. Oh my goodness. We need to hit a threat. Need to hit a threat. Like a like a big creature would be great. That's a good one. That's a very good one. So no attackers. So hitting a shock for this exclusion mage would be cool or a spit flame or something or literally any creature. Like that that would be ideal hitting like another one of our top end threats. Like one of our dragons or even a uh like a burning sun's avatar would be great. That's that's not going to get there. I mean, we'll play it, though. Just commit more to the board. Sure, that, that's fine. I'll take that trade. I was actually looking for that trade for a while now. Oh my gosh, that's... Alright, now we could really use like a Burning Sun's Avatar. 
disinformation campaign. So we would definitely like like a Burning Suns avatar. Sarah Angel's not bad. No, oh, I misclicked. I wanted to attack with everything. gotten so used to uh, clicking the no attackers that I misclicked. Yep, making us discard our zero cards. Okay, we could definitely use like another threat. Like Burning Suns would probably be best. That's a land. So we'll go all attackers. We will tap down one of these. So I think somehow we might actually get there with this very, very awkward draw. The opponent blocks there. I mean, they only have two blockers. I guess they trade with the lore, war leader, maybe? Well, they trade there. I mean, that's some very awkward blocks that they made. But we got there. We got there. I didn't think it was going to happen, but we got there. Oh yeah, they were ranked way ahead of us. Wow. Yeah, we got a lot of progress for that. I think they were bronze tier one. So we get a card and a pack. What's our card? Hmm. Boo. All right, so we'll crack this pack open. See what we get. Glow Spore Shaman, not bad. Muse Drake, meh. Skynet Legionnaire, Standard All-Star in Original, Ravnica City of Guilds. Vicious Rumor, Under Sea Uprising, another Guild Gate. Eh, what's a rare? A Sure Assemble, meh. Definitely kind of meh. So, I think I am going to sign off for today uh, and I will probably stream some tomorrow, get up to our 10th uh, win, get a pack. We'll also be able to earn a new deck tomorrow and we should have some more quests to do to grind for some gold to uh, keep grinding for that tier deck. So again, if anybody has any suggestions, uh, what deck we should be grinding for go ahead and you know shoot me an email uh at five color or it's uh five color feehan at gmail.com uh you can also find me on twitter at five color feehan um or you can leave it in the comments on youtube uh this video will probably be going up later tonight or tomorrow morning on the youtube channel um and please remember to just go ahead and uh, like and subscribe, and I will see everyone later.